Benny the Switch is on. I should be able to speak Mandarin by now, but maybe it takes me another year and we'll see. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> um, sure, I'm happy to. Um, if it were uh, a different player, I would hope that it's obviously not true. Um, but it, because it involves my name somewhere out there, I know it's 100% not true. So um, pretty relaxed about this because I'm. Um, Complete honesty for the sport. Um, leave the, ba- the game better off when when I arrived to the sport. Even though it was already a great platform I had, and the last thing I would do is uh, harm the sport and uh, create a, a negative light on our sport. So it's um, disappointing that someone is throwing my name around. Um, I would never do some, such a thing. Um, my fans know that, and uh, the people who know me. So yeah, I have nothing to hide, and um, I'm sorry for those who think. There's something to the story, but there's nothing. Last thing. Uh, just to ask you what you think about the defeat of Rafa, is it a huge surprise for you? Or? Yeah, clearly. Um, he's been playing such incredible tennis the last, um, what has it been like? I mean, basically the whole year, but especially since Monaco, since he's been starting to go on the roll. Um, obviously, you didn't expect. Now to all the sun just come through and, and beat him, especially in three sets. You would figure like once he Rafa got his uh, teeth into the match that he would be able to come through at the end. But now to play fantastic, you saw the winners he hit and uh, he took it to Rafa and he couldn't he couldn't cope with it. So it was interesting to see how Melzer played. Um, I've played him now a couple of times in a short period of time, and uh, I, I see why he can cause Rafa some some trouble. You know, so obviously it's been. Uh, uh, a big shock for the tournament, uh, for some players as well, because obviously he's the favorite to every tournament he really goes to right now because of uh, his incredible run he's been in. Last question. Roger, I heard that you like listening to Lady Gaga's songs when you're on the way here in the stadium, is that true? No, I have not been listening to any radio or anything. Um, it's been... Uh, I like music, don't get me wrong. Um, um, but I don't need really music to, to pump me up uh, before a match. or uh, I usually like, listen a lot when I'm driving myself. Um, but here I've had good company with friends and my team to I mean, chatting and talking. But uh, I, I like her music, I think she's a great artist. artist. Uh, if you like listening to her songs, I was wondering the reason is that she has a song named Love Game. Oh yeah, like tennis, like it's got some tennis connection. I wonder if she's a good tennis player. I have my doubts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, she's created a great CD and um, I've listened to her music for sure, yeah. Thank you. I even thought about that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.